Well, hello, my fine friends. It is great to see you on this beautiful Saturday. I wasn't going to put together a video, but I felt really good and very emotional, as a matter of fact. So this is going to be a bit of a rare editing. Okay, this video is to be about how I feel about you guys. Throughout my cancer therapy, you have been my family. Now, my fiance has been very, very supportive of me. And his family, his mother and dad, they are beautiful people and they were there for me. They visited me at the hospital when I crashed down for about eight days and wasn't able to do anything. I actually went into reverse isolation because my white blood cell count dropped through the floor and could be sick over anything. Any one would get me sick. But they all put on their blues, the little blue hat, the gloves, the overwear, you know, to make sure that they didn't get germs on me or whatever, you know. These people were so beautiful to me. And my friend Rodney, he actually came and he stayed with me at the hospital for eight straight days and nights, only going to his house to get a shower every day and then to come right back. And he took no time getting back to me to make sure I was all right, knowing that Austin was having to work and he couldn't take off at that time. And Austin came to see me whenever he possibly could, which was pretty much every day, and for a short amount of time. But I was understanding of that. Now, I lost a lot of subscribers, you know, over the time that I was ill. I guess the situation was just a little bit too dark for them, and I can completely understand that. No one really likes to dwell within darkness, although I did try to keep it light. There were about six to eight videos that I put out that showed my current state and what I was going through at the time that I had cancer. But there are so many of you that did not sway. You did not go away from me. You stayed there ready to back me whenever I would put a video out. A lot of the times you were silent, you know, and some of the times you weren't. And you know, that's quite usual. I mean, so no stones thrown on that. You know, sometimes you have some things to say and sometimes you don't. But you guys were absolutely great. And whenever I did put a video out, you did step up to say, hey, how are you doing? Or, or, it's so great to hear that you're doing good. Or, oh, I'm sorry that you're going through this. I wish I could be there. And let's not even, you know, we're not even mentioning the people that actually sent me gifts of love. You know, I had someone send me what you call holy basil, which is an extreme cleanser. I had people sending me herbs of so many different sorts, you know, herbs that they felt that could be of a help to me in getting my immune system up or fighting against cancer or viruses or whatever. You know, you guys were beautiful. I even had this friend, Dan, who sent me a wreath, you know, for that time of year, which it was autumn, you know, and so he sent me a wreath full of browns and oranges, pine cones and straws, you know, different fruits for that time of year and nuts within this wreath. And he made me a pendant, which I actually I have right here made with rose quartz and other healing stones you know to draw energy and it's with my favorite symbol it's the pentagram 
you know. Dan sent me some really beautiful stuff and made me feel fantastic. All of you guys did. I mean, this stuff truly, magically helped me to get through all the negatives. I did not cry or whimper through all of these treatments, believe it or not. And the only time I did ever uh, show sadness throughout it was when other people would, and you can't really help that. They're just trying to show how much they care, you know. But it, it was a pain in the butt. I can remember whenever I went through the chemotherapy. And remember, I did go through chemotherapy and radiation treatment at the same time. And both of them together went on for three and a half months or so. But, uh, you know, I remember going through the chemotherapy and you know, there are different sorts that they'll have you go through, depending on what type of cancer you have. And I had rectal cancer. And uh, it was a growth on the outside, thank goodness. It could have been a lot worse if it were on the inside. But uh, they had me on the treatment to where I would go to Texas, Oncon Texas Oncology there in Baytown. A very good place. Dr. Shoshita was very good to me. And my nurse, Sue, was the one that hung real close by me all the way through it for the entire three, three and a half months. I'll never forget Sue. And I'll never forget Dr. Shoshita. She was very good. Anyway, um, you know, they hung a bag on me of chemo, drugs, whatever is in it, I don't know. But they hung it on my side on a fanny pack. And I would wear this for one week straight, nonstop. It would be feeding directly into my veins. I could not take it out. And, you know, the first day was always good but then after that it, you know I would go to sleep and then I would wake up and I would have these flu like symptoms that would follow me throughout the entire week plus about a week thereafter you know I would be feeling this and I would be feeling nauseated like I was going to be sick you know, and it surprised me because I thought it would be a lot worse, and it wasn't. I shaved my head before all this began because I did not want to be losing hair all over the house, and so I didn't, and that was a good choice. I made a lot of right choices with this, but I only had to wear the bag twice, and it was at four weeks apart. I wore the bag for one week it came off of me for three weeks thereafter I recuperated from its effects and then they put the bag on me again and then I would go through its effects now in between the two bags that I had it hit me like a brick house I went down my blood white blood cell count drop to 0 0.05 which means if anyone got around me and as much as coughed I would get sick and they did not want to chance this so immediately Texas Oncology called the hospital and they admitted me and for about a week of my stay there everybody that came to see me had to dress to the nines they had to wear all the blues and wash up, cover up before they would step in that room because I was in horrible shape. I thought I was going to die. But I made it through it 
And then I came out in time to get the bag hung on me again for chemotherapy. And at this point, I was about at the last week of my radiation treatments being microwaved in the midsection all the way through my body in the midsection being microwaved to kill any and all cancer cells that might still exist and it really has messed me up to this day one year later I still have a lot of long-term effects that I'm suffering and may not go away for a long time. You know, it shrinks up all this radiation. It shrinks up all the muscles within your body. It dries you up on the inside. It makes things that are supposed to close not actually close. And so I've got a lot of problems that I won't go into here, but use your imagination. You know, using the bathroom is complicated, both one and two, especially two. I have to watch myself so I don't run into embarrassing situations. And sex is about a zero right now. And all of this one year after. But I'm dealing and I'm getting through. And my husband has been fabulous. I have no doubt in my mind this man will always be true to me and I intend to snatch him up and marry him because whenever I can't even cook, he does. And whenever for the year that I have been unable to have sex, he has still been there and like a champ. And whenever I started going through the bad times, so did he. He even had to get put on anti-anxiety medicines due to the stress that it's placed on him and I likewise due to what it's done to me. And now we're coming off of the antidepressants and we're starting to use the medicinal herbs to get our lives back to straight. So things are starting to return to good but we have a few fights to endure, you know. But the main reason of this video is I wanted to thank you guys, the ones who stood by my channel and with me, with my husband and the situation through all that I've been through, through all the time that I went through without making any videos. You guys stood beside me and showed me your love. And I never even got that from my own family. As a matter of fact, I've seen my family, which lives just 20 minutes down the road, one time before I even started the treatments, and I have not even seen them since. And trust me, on that one piece of land 20 minutes away, I have over 15 family members and other scattered members of the family all around town that I live in. And it's really sad. And, and you know, I felt that it was all right at first, but the more I think about it, the more I feel neglected. So I've come to the realization that I have very few family members within the real world, and that is Austin, my love, his mom and dad, and me, Ma, and Peepaw, and, you know, a few friends, one or two. And that's it. Aside of you guys, you are my family, and I will never forget how you stood by me through these videos. I love you for it. And because of that, I will always do my best to bring you the best in information and entertainment on these videos. Reach out to you and say hi. And um, I hope you won't leave my channel. I hope you'll stay and be a part of us. I know you will. You have this far. So I have every bit of faith in that. 
More than that, I would like for you to jump up and say hello under my videos sometimes. And I'll be sure and, and talk to you. Okay? Um, that's all for this video today. And I really, really want you to take this to heart because God knows, Goddess knows, I sure do. Take care of yourself and brightest blessings.